Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add custom fonts to WordPress. And the way we're gonna do this is with the help of Elementor. Now, if you ever tried to add a custom font to WordPress manually, it's not the easiest thing to do, but what I can say confidently is that Elementor makes this process so much easier. Uh, you simply have to upload the font files and you're ready to use it in the Elementor page builder or anywhere else on your website. So let me walk you through the process here. The first thing you're gonna need is font files. If you have font files, great. If not, um, which is my case, uh, I'm gonna need to get some. So I'm gonna go to dafont.com, which is D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And here you can get, you know, most of these are free, uh, at least for personal use, um, which is perfect for this this tutorial here. I'm gonna download Lemon Friday, right? Okay, so that looks fine to me. Let's use this font. Any font will work. Uh, so this downloads as a zip file, but inside the zip file, uh, it gives us a folder. And in that folder, we have a .ttf font file. You might have something different, uh, but that's okay. We're gonna have to convert them anyway. So, um, and, and why, why do we have to convert them? Well. When we go into Elementor, assuming that you have Elementor installed in your WordPress admin dashboard, you'll see that Elementor expects uh, different types of font files. Okay, so if we go to Elementor custom fonts and we add a new font family, and I'm going to name it the same same exact thing as it's actually called, so uh, Lemon Friday. And when we click on add font variation, it's going to ask us for the WFF file, the WFF2, TTF, SVG, EOT file. And right now we only have the uh, TTF file. And I just realized I added an extra M in lemon. Okay, so we can convert this TTF file to the other formats with something, a free online tool called Cloud Convert. So uh, in a new tab, I'm going to go to cloudconvert.com and basically convert. What we want to do is convert our font, which is TTF right now, to the other formats, right? So uh, WFF, for example. Um, so it's it's able to do that. So let's open up the TTF converter. Um, and I mean, you can do these individually. What I like to do actually is to select the file first and foremost here. Uh, not this one. We will do the Lemon Friday one, the TTF file. So upload that, and then we want to convert it to EOT. Okay, and then we can add more files. We can do upload the TTF file and convert it to OTF. And then we can do it again. We can do the TTF file, convert that to WOFF, and then TTF, convert that to WOFF2, and then one more, uh, the TTF file, convert that to the vector SVG. Okay, so let's click on the convert button. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, it'll go through, process these, and then give us a download link for each one of them, which we can then go ahead and start downloading. I uh, just want to wait for that one to finish. There we go. So let's download the EOT, the OTF, the WFF, the WFF2, and the SVG. Perfect. Great. So back in Elementor, let's go ahead and upload these font files. So we'll upload the WFF first. And I guess the best way to do this is find my finder window. Um, here is the WFF, we'll drag and drop that in, select that, we'll upload the WFF2, you guys get the idea here, right? Select that, upload the TTF, which is the original one, uh, in the directory, so put that right there, select that, SVG, uh, that's out, back out here, the SVG file, and one more, the EOT file, EOT, there we go. Okay, so uh, we got all of those selected. Now we just have to simply click on publish and that's gonna add this font into the list of fonts that Elementor knows about. So let's go ahead and use this in action. So just as a reminder, this is what the, the font looks like. Um, let's go to one of our pages. Uh, which one should we pick? Uh, let's do the home page. Um, we'll edit the home page. This won't be a permanent page. It'll just be a test. Uh, but on here, we'll edit that with Elementor. And what does our home page look like right now? 
Uh, let's open that swampview.com. Our homepage right now, well, it's gonna show us in the preview. Let's change this text to be the Lemon Friday font. Uh, so in Elementor Page Builder, let's, uh, if, if you don't see it on the left-hand side, click on the pencil over here. That'll open up the edit heading section over here. And for the title, go to style and topography, click on the pencil. And now for the font family, instead of Roboto or whatever the default is for you, start typing your font name, Lemon Friday. There's our custom font. We'll click that and we got our new font that we had just uploaded. So temporarily, not permanently, let's update this just to show that it actually works in a real world environment. Uh, here's what it looked like before. And if I refresh the page, the new font should load. And it doesn't probably because of caching, uh, which is a very common thing. So if you go to a guest window or an incognito window, go to swampview.com, that new font should load for us and it does. So um, guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.